the best, the best, the best. I'm sorry, but I miss Solus, so I'm gonna put him in the party. Who do I want to bring in the party? Good night, London. Love you. Right, Shen. Pearl. Respond to that. Whoops. Congratulations, Juliana, by the way. Hi, Tristan. get over there Can I even get over there? Oh. We might be able to rebuild this. I don't know how to get over there. Do you have to go this way? Ooh, that, those big chains remind me of, um, chains of Olympus. Oh, it's literally right here. Oops. Hee <laughs> hee. The Iron Bull, do you ever worry that a demon could be standing off to the left where your eye can't see? Well, I do now. <laughs> Some bullshit. What the fuck? I thought this was the way. locked door but i don't even see it
This map is already a little strange, I can feel. Um, Rio, I think... Oh, it's literally right there. I think that it would be the green forest. Like, I like the emerald graves a lot. And the hinterlands. But the emerald graves the most. Dark beauty. In the quarry. This won't stop until they're dead. I'm glad we helped them. Oh, you cutie. I love you, Cole. He's so cute and sweet. Okay, wait. So, there was something over here. fucking alcohol. Forbidden Oasis? Have I been there? Let me know. Maybe I was there for a second or something. Oh, not yet. Rio, god damn it. <laughs> Rio. <laughs> you little spoil snitch. <laughs> Just kidding. But Forbidden Oasis, that sounds great. That sounds beautiful. Where's your health, girl? No, you're fine. I'm just kidding. I'm just joshing with you. done it i mean some people have been like have you been to have you been to and then in a way that's kind of i don't know it's just it's not like a spoiler but it's like okay let's just watch how this unfolds instead of asking eagerly like if you were to be like have you been to solace's home <laughs> have you been to that map yet then that's a spoiler but everything else is just kind of like eh. 
Try not to. What now? Grow a crystal garden in your skull? You have to help us. They'll turn us into those. I will, but you need to be patient. No, too. I love you. Everything is cold. We are kind of in the forest. I'm glad we helped them. I mean, in the forest, in the snow. Jesus Christ. Law Dog! Hello! I love it when multiple just amazing show stopping people come into chat. Chris? Who's Chris? There's not a Chris. Chris? There ain't none. Oh! <laughs> Sorry! Oh my god, I screamed into the mic. I was like, mm -mm. I thought you were getting Chris confused with Chase not to, and I was gonna be like, mm, that is not correct. But yeah, Christine! That's so cute! Chris! Uh-oh. Lord, I got bearing gifts? Aww. Till the end of time. I come bearing gifts. Thank you for the 500 bits. So sweet. Happy February. The way I'm hitting my sword to the beat of the music. I have not known a better fight song. Oh my god. I've never felt more powerful in my life. Law Dog, what the fuck? Thank you for gifting 10 subs along with the 500 bits. If you got a sub from Law Dog, welcome on in to the sub fam. Law Dog is so sweet. Thank you. I don't want to cry, but I feel like crying. It's so nice. It's too nice. I'm sorry, am I a bad person? This is my toxic trait. But if I'm about to rescue you, don't be like, go faster, break the lock, go, go. I guess I'm a toxic person. Hashtag Meg Mage is toxic. I guess I have a nasty personality, but that bothers the fuck out of me. Let us out! Honestly, the law dog, that's so cute. Um, for Valentine's Day. All the cages open. Remember as kids when we would um bring in sweets for everyone? My mom would make cup I'm glad cupcakes. We did that. Confetti cake cupcakes. And that's what I that's why I love Valentine's Day, because it's way, way, way more than just romantic love. It is also Friendship and chosen family. Stop 
being so nasty. Oh, except I'm literally trying not to die. There's that interesting fact. You know? You're so sweet, Law Dog. Let them eat cake. Okay, wrong era. Honestly, Marie Antoinette, the first iconic bimbo. Let them eat cake. Oh. Edgy mama! A note from Samson about spreading red lyrium. Um, something tells me I'm going to need like a bottle of wine towards the end of this game. People are like, play Trespasser. The Trespasser DLC is... You got play, you're gonna cry, blah blah blah. And I think I'm gonna get like so, a nice Where were we? Oh ah, yes. Mage to C4. Bottle of Rose. A little aggressive. Our shock to H4. Check. Speaking of aggressive. Rose. I assume our shock is your term for the queen. King to F1. Pawn to B5. Alright. You have my curiosity. Mage takes pawn. You call your Tamasrans mages? Hmm. Ben Hasra to F6. You call your knights Ben Hasrath. Incidentally, knight to F3. Ben Hasrath makes more sense than horses. They're sneaky, and they can move through enemy lines. Arashok to H6. Pawn to D3. Ben Hasrath to H5. Ha! All right. Take some time. Think about your life choices. <laughs> yeah, think about them. Think about them. Shit. No, Shin, I can't. I don't know how they do it. It shows how smart they both are. And I love it because they're just like opposite sides of the world. Like elf and apost elf apostate mage and then kunari ben hasrup you know and they're just like both so smart and doing it i don't know what i just did i'm sorry my bad And they're connecting. You know? I'm fucking busy! Not this! I'm bi- See you soon, forever. Be safe. No, sure yet. They said, let us out. It's not even help Yan us. Bull, a woman in the last village wanted you to pick her up and take her clothes off. Most people do. In her mind, you were very big. Cole. Well, that's flattering. Cole, what the fuck? Cole. Solus, tell him he can't say shit like that. Oh, but kiss, kiss the bald head for good luck. Mm. Oh my God. I would love to be in the writer's room as they're thinking of all this banter. That would be... That just seems like the most fun thing ever. But we kind of do it too. Like, I feel like... With streams, we think about what they would say and da 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 da. Confirm bull is very big. Can... Ah! The way I just kind of want to, like, break up with Solus. Just kidding. I'm not going to. It's 
Solus. That's my son right there. Yeah, Solus is probably just like snickering to himself. Oh, are you standing on a box? Good for you. Um. I will not survive this. I saw what the Red Templars did to the others. Louis, like Louis Tomlinson from, um, what's it called? One Direction? Louis Tomlinson. Tomlinson. I don't know. I wish I was a, a bigger One Direction. It's Harry's bird, Thatty. Harry Styles. Harry Styles. I just imagine Cole is just like walking through a room, Lavender and Solis are making everywhere? out in, and he just hums to himself, so carrying honey for Lily on his way, and none of them notice him. <laughs> it was good to do that. What is it? This. Samson. You are my sweetest downfall. I loved you first. I loved you first. Wait, I need to put some Regina Spectre on my um Sol so Lavender. So Lavender playlist. We should inform Cullen that we've taken care of Samson's Red Lyrium horde. <laughs> Wish we could be there when Samson hears about it. Return to Cullen. Okay. Ah. My bad. Um. So. <laughs> okay. I should save them, even though they're ungrateful bitches. Lavalas? Oh, Wardens! That's amazing! Hi, Wost! Stepbrothers and Dad Jokes Book Night? Wait, Book Night? I don't know if everyone is, was here, but we've also made it headcanon that, um... Lavender is reading Solus, Hard in Hightown, and it started as, like, her convincing him to read it. And then now he's, like, obsessed, and it's like, when are... I'm doing something, bro. I'm, I'm not going to let you out. I'm not going to. That's kind of nice. Where are you guys going? They'll turn us into those things. Have you freed everyone? Friday night art and high town book sessions. Yes. And it started off as him being like, I'm, we're not going to read that. And she's like, well, let me at least just read it for you. Like, read it to you. And then... What is happening? <laughs> and then now he's like, can we read Hard and Hard Town? And she's like, I got Inquisitor when shit to do. Waged with human hate. Oh, I should never want to see that. It would be a terrible thing. It was wrong to hide it in a child. It hurt her. Right. You two just work whatever that is out of your What? System. Like poison. 
weird ass poison. It's good. I can explain. I really didn't ask. I didn't ask. Wait, I didn't understand what they were referencing. So listen, Cole stuff. No one gets it. That's cute. Superior Prowler Coat. Cute. It's hard though, like, I want to see Sarah and Varric. I want to see Sarah and Cole. I want to see Varric and Cole, but it's hard to like justify two rogues. And I can't even imagine playing a rogue and you want to put, cause that's what happened with Pepper. I wanted Isabella and, and Varric, but it's just like overkill on the rogues. It is, it's in discord. Actually, I think if you do exclamation point playlist, you Bardock will be back. Afraid of demons. Hmm. Not fond of them, no. But you and I are fine as long as you don't do any weird crap. <laughs> Lying awake, sheets soaked. Oh no. <laughs> afraid to call the Tamasarans. Shadows make shapes in the dark. If it gets in my head, how do I cut it out? Itching, shaking, tears slide cold down my cheeks. Tama, I'm scared. Yeah. Weird crap <laughs> like that. Pretty much what I meant. Yeah, I have to go down that way. Oh. 
I don't understand where the... Oh, is it there? The red lyrium. I have to say, I kind of hate this map. I have to say it, besties. I kind of hate it. Okay, there it is. Where did it go? Bro! Chonky. To a big guy with a shield. You are big, boasting, battering, and I blend behind. Daggers in darkness. One, two, three. Assuming that actually means what I think it does. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's cute. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna run around. And see if I can do this. Yeah, I think I can enter this way. Welcome back, Bumble. Okay, here. busy i'll get to you in just a bit but we're literally killing people to save you so shut the fuck up for a second welcome back londini oh uh two days ago london you um sleep messaged it was cute excuse me Excuse me. I'm the Inquisitor. Oh, I didn't let the, <laughs> the prisoners out. That's what they get. That's what they get. There'll be a toothless hound once our master deals with them. He gave us what the Chantry never would, a second chance. I don't want to see a single man let him down. Okay. That's fan behavior for Corypheus. That's for fucking sure. What? What is it? This is so annoying. Coot. <laughs> hey. To help us. Okay. Turn us into those things. It sees him ready to jump. Pain pounding, pulsing. Life of frustration can finally fall to freeze. Ah, yes. It holds him high. What? Shows the hole where everything falls without him. He never needs to leave. He matters here. Who? It is different. I think he fell, and it held him as he died, leaving him with images that told him his life was worthwhile. That's much sadder. But yes, calm, comfort, as the cold takes him away. Um, 
Who are they talking about? Are they talking about Solus? I never know if Cole is talking about the person that he's bantering. Oh, they found a body. Okay. Okay. Last one. Let's get the rest of these ungrateful motherfuckers. Just kidding. Where I want, I want it to lead. I think it's this. Is that blood on her beautiful armor? Oh my god! One last help us. Um. Nope. Wrong way. We're at the top of the oh. Please help me. Get out of here. Who would choose that option? You don't seem well. What's wrong? The red crystals. I can feel them. We gotta kill her. I, I have a letter from my love. Would you please it in the hollow of the marked tree by the river? When he returns from the war, he'll know to look there. Let him hate me and move on. Oh, she died. So is that what happens to people's voices when Keep they get... watch. Anything that can survive here has earned it. Oh, that's a great way of putting it. Please. We can all go home now. Okay. I'm glad we helped them. Me too. Okay, I did this whole part of the map. I'm so proud of myself. So... I'm gonna go back to Skyhold. And we'll come back here if we want. Winter, that's true. Well done. Shin, thank you so much for the 1500 bits. Shinadome dome. Shinadome dome. Thank you so much. You've done so much today. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate you. Ay, ay, ay. So nice. So kind, so nice and so kind, so nice and so kind. 
so nice and so kind is Shin. Hi, Noodle. Um, we just finished up Cullen's Inner Circle quest. And we saved some ungrateful prisoners. <laughs> it's true. And yeah, that's all I can think about. I learned for real that people who are infected by red lyrium have a like a two-toned voice, which I feel like is important information that I didn't know. <laughs> Judge a prisoner? Who? I forget who. Look at my sky hold. So pretty. Look at <laughs> Look at this Mr. throne. Spoonen of Sarnia is accused of aiding oh, okay, and yeah. abetting the Red Templars in the Dales. She sold a quarry to them for a handsome sum. They <laughs> They're used like the quarry to grow red lyrium by enslaving Jones. lavender. The only extenuating circumstance, <laughs> Mistress Ullen was procuring supplies <coughs> the remaining Sorry. townspeople fed. If you'd like to explain your intentions, speak. My crime was misjudged. He's so little. The land sale was meant to bring prosperity in hard times. Surely it was clear you were selling to the enemy. We were starving, and they told me they'd reopen the mines. Selling the quarry so hastily was a mistake. I did what I could to rectify it. She's fine. You made decisions without knowledge of whom you dealt with. That makes villains of anyone. You're free to leave, but don't appear before us again. No, your worship. Never. Thank you. Hi, Winnable. Um, I don't know what the throne is, <laughs> I, but I buy every kind of... I don't know. I buy all the drapes and... Yeah. But the hairstyle is a mod. That's my favorite throne so far. For real, for real, for real. Why did she run like that? Uh, I'm gonna change her clothes. Remember the kiss with Solus here? But then he left. I kind of want to make it headcanon that um she did not let him leave. I don't think my lavender would let him leave. Just saying. No, I don't like the beige. Oh, that's cute. But I still don't think they... Hmm. But her hair doesn't go with it. 
simple, eternal beige. <laughs> Um, I just really like the blue. I like this one. Well, <laughs> sorry. The way I'm just going to end up with what she had on. I just think it really suits her. Anyways. What's this? Oh, war room. We gotta go to Cullen, though. Traveling. I forget how to get to him. Did we talk to him about Bianca? No. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Oh. You're just in time. We almost had to start without you. What? We couldn't have that, could we? I found her, Ruffles. Deal her in. I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. <laughs> you seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to Colin, do. Colin, what the fuck? Losing money can be both relaxing and habit forming. Give it a try. Curly, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. It's true. Dealer starts. Oh, I believe. I'll start at... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too dead? Josie! Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. <laughs> three it is. Seriously, who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home? She's so Sounds cute. Good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? Of course. I'm in, and raising another silver. You haven't even looked at your card. <laughs> well, our illustrious leader is betting we're bluffing. You are bluffing. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm, um... The Inquisitor, so... <laughs> the poor recruit ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this... Profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars all turned to stare at once. Then a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. I want a mug like that. <laughs> what, what did he do? <laughs> Saluted, turned on his heel, <laughs> and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely. That's true. I've got one for you. The clan decided to camp near this ruined fortress right on the edge of the Tirashan, dark as the bottom of a well. The keeper swore up and down it was safe, but some of the hunters started hearing noises in the middle of the night. Ah! She can tell a story. Wow. They ran out of there fast as you think. Bare asses shining in the moonlight the whole way back to their village. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> you don't mind if I steal that one, do you? <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell stories more often. Oh my god. I like the part with the rabbits. <laughs> there should be more rabbits in stories. 
That was scandalous. <laughs> it would ruin the Inquisition if anyone found out. Tell it again. <laughs> and the dealer takes everything. I win again. Nice. Deal again. I figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. <laughs> Commander, everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then yeah, let's tell him, Josie. Good fortune lasts one more hand. I'm not losing any more coin to Josephine, but I have got to see this. What? <laughs> I said strip poker. <laughs> I tried to warn you. I Curly. said strip poker. Never bet against an Antiva, Commander. It comes off. I didn't know it came. <laughs> Oh my god. It's <laughs> so awkward. Oh, he's naked. <laughs> I'm glad you decided to join us tonight. It's too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. Oh. <laughs> what are you looking like? I enjoyed this. See? That's what I mean. It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. Oh. Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. A at least it is for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? Every time I play, I increase the odds of winding up like <laughs> Cullen. You're never more alive than when you're about to lose your pet, my friend. <laughs> Oh, Merrick, I love you. Colin, gotta go fast. Who's that? Did I win? <laughs> I love her. Oh my god, that was amazing. Where the where the fuck did that come from? I loved Oh yeah, he should have saluted, exactly. Need something? Or are you just here to admire the dwarf? Bro. I love being on his good side. Tell me more about Bianca. Hmm. I'm not making any promises here. Ask. All right, tell me the truth. Bianca made your crossbow, didn't she? I mean, it has her name. Uh, it's not that simple. The Carta thinks my Bianca was a freak success by a Carta inventor who could never duplicate it. If they thought anyone else was involved, someone who could make one work, mm. things would be bad. Oh. So I really can't tell the story. I don't want any more blood on my hands. Wow. What makes the Merchant's Guild such a danger to her? Well, to be fair, it's more of a danger to me. Technically, we're not supposed to be within 300 leagues of one another. If it got back Romantic. to the guild that we were seen together, they'd freeze my assets and then have me killed. Maybe not in that order. What in the world did you do to cause that? We almost started a clan war. Does it matter? I, I can't change it now. I'm not here for the Bianca slander. I don't want to see any messages about the Bianca slander, okay? We had a long conversation about it and it's giving me the vibes of like she's she's a temptress leading him on and he's literally explaining all the obstacles that don't involve her being annoying or leading him on they're just star-crossed lovers mm-hmm people well we were talking about how the community i think because they want to like romance Farrick that they don't like her or something but I love her how do you know Bianca the lady I mean not the crossbow I met her years ago when she still lived in Kirkwall and I was looking for someone with uh, mechanical skills Bianca is beyond a doubt the most brilliant smith you'll ever meet I haven't seen her since she got married and moved to Orlay Bianca is married Bianca. Somehow I thought the two of you had a history. Right, Pum. Bianca's family are Kalnas. Surface dwarves, so conservative they don't take a piss without asking the ancestors first. They it's like picked a... out a smith cast boy for yeah. her. 
wealthy. And like she can't go against that, that, but she likes Varric, loves him. I heard the wedding was lovely. The one Bianca actually showed up for, anyway. I love femme characters like this. So how long have the two of you been together? She's so badass, well, and she's so capable. Cares, we're not. Usually, there's a continent between us at all times. We write letters. Now and then, we manage to meet up. I don't know if that's uh, together. Shit, it's been what, fifteen years. Oh, oh great. No, I feel old. exactly, Thanks. sleepy. It's very realistic, and like I said before, it just with adults in in an adult relationship, usually it ebbs and flows. There are so many obstacles and that what's what is what makes for a good romance. Like it gets boring when you just you only read or consume media with relationships where it's like they meet and they are high school sweethearts and they fell in love and it lasted forever and ta da da they died together the end. Like that's not a reflection of real life. And I love this because they are two consenting adults. They're both flawed in a way because, I mean, she's cheating on her husband and he is, knows that she's married and like, he doesn't take pride in it. She doesn't take pride in it. It's just, they wanted to be together, but there were so many obstacles in the way. And like, she is now. so sure. fucking capable. Like she, here. I won't forget how Beric just casually was like, I hear they're going to make you a paragon. And she was like, no, I don't want to. She's just a fucking badass. And she cares about him. Even just as the that one at the end of the quest where she's just like, um, if anything happens to him, I'll fucking slit your throat or something. <laughs> it's amazing. Inquisitor. I believe it's okay to move on from someone who actually married someone else. I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. And um, if you feel ba bad for Varric, that's fine. But how does that make her annoying? Yeah. Anything happens to him, I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor. Yeah. Probably encourage my friend to give up on the merry girl he was in love with. But you can't. Have y'all ever been friends with someone in a toxic relationship or even just like any kind of relationship? You cannot as their friend the more you say you should not be with this person the more that they will cling to that person that is i i've been in that situation on both sides and it does not help to have friends and family say you need to break up with them you need to break up with them you need to do this like you can feel bad for them but also he's a happy guy he's like he's vibing they are both stars like they're both fucking explosions of light and personality and capability and power and sometimes when you have those big fucking like they have their own objectives their own capabilities their own skills their own incentives <laughs> this person, their own objectives and they just like meet up when they can and then you know i i bet even like who knows i think that her husband probably knows I'm sure he knows of Varric. I, I don't know if this is like a spoiler, but like I get the feeling that he knows that it's kind of an arranged marriage and it's like, OK, well, that's going to happen and I'll look the other way. <laughs> they literally forced me. Yeah, arranged marriage. Good night, Rio. Because of that, I found her annoying because I'm like, dude, I'm helping both of you. You can't, though. You can't. 
You cannot help them, though. You can't control people and what they choose. And then, to me, it just gives off, like, <sighs> like low-key sexist vibes because I'm so tired of people interpreting women like that who have the affair or, like, consent to the affair and da 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 da, -da as leading them on. I cannot tell you how many times I've been nice to a man and then people say that, or, like, he says I'm leading him on. It's just, I don't, I really would encourage you to, like, look deeper than that. And, like, the word annoying, I really don't like either. You can't help people who don't want to be helped, right? I think of it more like an old school thing where it was common for people in arranged marriage, marriage as step suitors. Yeah, the vibe, the vibe I get is that it's kind of like, it's like low-key wrong, but it's not in our society where you marry for love and then you have an affair and it's like a deep, deep, deep betrayal. I get the vibes. He knows. <laughs> he knows what he was getting himself into with that arranged marriage. He knows she's a fucking badass considering considered to be a, a paragon is an amazing fucking inventor and creator and like just badass and powerful and makes mistakes just like Beric. This game is so good because it takes your faves and it's like they're going to make mistakes and what are you going to do about it? You were supposed to split with... Yeah, some people interpreted Beric as coming across as more depressed in Dragon Age... Inquisition, I can see that. He was forced to split with his friends of 10 years after Dragon Age 2 and then what eventually happened to Hawk. Right. And I don't think it's fair to blame that all on Bianca because he's known Bianca for 15 years. So how is that? He just said 15 years. His depression doesn't have to do with a woman. And because this has been coming up, for me, actually, I was just thinking about this yesterday. You cannot put your whole... First of all, Varric does not do this because Varric is... He's a fucking... He's a capable man. If he's sadder, yeah. He, like, if he's more depressed, yeah. It makes sense with what he's been through. Um, but you can't make your mental health, your emotional health your emotional well-being dependent on a person and i feel like it happens with men with women like it's just like but also women with it happens in just in relationships in, in general where it's like you're completely dependent on whether they are accessible to you or you know it's just i don't get that vibe from Beric. i was just thinking about that yesterday he's independent he is a fucking adult who makes his own decisions and the way that he talks about it he's not asking for help <laughs> he's not and like if you want to control people in their relationships i think that you should play sims sorry that came off so rude but i believe it because in an rpg just like real life you cannot force your friends and family to do things like from personal experience i know that if you really try to encourage someone to like break up or whatever they're not going to listen you cannot control people and i love that bioware even as like you play your character you cannot control people i'm trying to think i love in games where you like try to do something mm, it happened in origins where you like try to make a decision and then the game catches you and it's like actually you can't do that oh like if you're an elf and you're in love with Alistair and he becomes king and you try to be like, well, I'm going to be queen too. It's like, no, you can't do that. I love that because it's like, wait, no, you can't. You don't control the universe. <laughs> yeah, Sleepy. And it's funny because he's so, he's so capable and he's a fucking, he's an adult and he's a man and he does not give the vibes that he wants to be helped or he wants to be babied. That was such a sweet 
thing that he did for the Inquisitor. And I really love Lavender and Sol uh, Solas <laughs> and Varric because they did not get along at first. She was really closed off. She was super closed off and he was like disapproving and disapproving because she was just like would not open up. She was like that with a lot of them. And now they're besties and it's so sweet. Yes, happens with Anders at the end of Dragon Age 2 too. Nothing you can do to stop it or change his mind. A lot of people really hated that. <sighs> yeah, I can't imagine. I mean, it's gotta be so frustrating, but that's why it's an RPG and that's why it's Bioware. Because for me, with my type A personality, I, my anxiety disorder comes from wanting to control things and not being able to. So it's really nice to have a game where I'm reminded I can't control everything. I have some agency and I can make choices. It's like a good reflection of life and a good reminder that people are going to do their own shit. They're going to make their own choices. All I'm responsible is how I react and how I move forward from that. And it's like therapy. I've been reading the letters found in the quarry. Samson is making red lyrium from people? From? Not anymore. Not in that mine. I knew Samson had fallen, but this, it's monstrous. We have to put an end to him. Look at these orders from the encampment. That armor must give Samson Love extraordinary you, potato. power. We may not be able to stop him. Take away his armor and the lyrium, and Samson's just another man. I couldn't say how. Templars are trained not to destroy expensive magical equipment. Perhaps Dagna has some ideas. She crafts the impossible every day. That's cute. Samson's armor. Inquisitor. I love that he's just waiting for her. It's kind of sad and sweet. Is there anything I should know? Only that I'm never playing cards again. I still can't find my... It doesn't matter. Ah! I don't know how Barry <laughs> talked me into that. Is there anything I should... Your plan is sound. We are ready to move on the Arbor Wilds when you give the word. I will see you reach the temple. Find your Christmas. what? Your underwear? Who took his underwear? That's Sarah, a... probably. Sure you... Anyways, I think that it's cute that he's just like, I like you. If you want to start a romance with me, you can, if you want. You know. Well, let me know if you find one. Going well, I hope. What's been going on? They've done a lot with this place. No, I saw past. that. Yeah, I saw that. So that's why I'm saying that she was she was under the table and took his underwear I have to go I have to go I have to go uh so we have to talk to Dagna Inquisitor hi Natalie hello Thank you for the seven months. I can't believe it's been that long. Oh, where am I going? Oh, Megan. Where's Soli? Soli, Soli, where are you? Hi, Eric. Hello. Mm mm. We'll talk later. Nah. Venon. Thank you. I need to know more about Corypheus. 
He has lost his army. He's, he's lost, lost our lay. Shooby, shooby, do do. That no one in this world can stand against his magic. He's feeling What's grumpy up? or something. Darth, he's probably feeling jealous because he didn't come to the Wicked Grace thing. Uh, who fucking knows why? He probably had to go <sighs> meet a spirit in the Fade or something. Or maybe he was like, oh, Cole was there. So who wasn't there? Liliana? I don't know. Maybe he had a meeting or something something and or he's like i have to do some research but he has played cards with people before so i don't know why he wasn't there but maybe he had something to do and then he heard that there was strip poker and that colin got naked and he got jelly i think he's jealous right now because he knows that she saw him naked he had a card game. Card game? Already booked in the fade. How you doing? <laughs> See you later, Bo. Nice bye bye. You, oh, you're so cute. Commander Cullen did good work at Adamant. Breached those walls like he'd done it a dozen. Nice job with the demons, by the way. You sealed the main rift at Adamant, but the fortress is still... I can take Rocky up. We can't close rifts, but we can bury the bastards under a ton of rubble. We'll talk later. Oh, great! Inquisitor. Cullen is hot. I, I suppose you're right. It's just what I heard. Back, yeah? Always good. And he sees how she runs over to Cullen's office. I think there's definitely some jealousy there. I'll be back if I need. 